Hi everyone, today we um, I want to share with everyone my new uh, crystal. This is what they call the Acne Mattertine. Uh, I bought a few of these. I probably bought about like five or six of these. There's something about it. It's just drawn me into it. Um, it has a similar texture as um, Moldavai. So similar texture as my old Moldavai. Yeah. That, that strange coolness and um, uneven sort of like, um, I don't know how to explain it. And uh, uneven sort of like sensation in your hand. Um, but not only that, it's when I touch it, I feel like a tingling in my hand, you know, especially in my hand. And this weird coolness, like a cool energy rushing all the way, raised all the way to my neck and then uh, my shoulder and it's just that coolness just keep on sitting there and it's just a very, um, I don't know, it's, it's chilling cool. It's, it's just a weird, weird coolness or coldness that I feel a little bit unease. And I feel like it's affecting my throat chakra in a way because every time I hold on to it, I feel like I want to cough. Um, and not only that, I feel like my heart is like racing at the moment. I feel like palpitation. So, but it's not as a, I better let it go. It's not a strong feeling like the motorbike when I first came across it, like that weird, like, pain in your gut radiate to your chest and that make you feel so unsettled and breathlessness um, when you come when I come across a motorbike whereas the um, the the acne um, malata is feeling like a weird like anxious palpitated coolness in the arms and and the neck and the shoulder it felt like you know when you meditate and you at a certain state where you feel this weird absolute quietness and then you felt like uh, your back is getting cold and then you are aware it's cold and then you felt like uh, your throat starts to feeling a little bit dry and then you felt like maybe somehow you feel like the energy want to walk into your body and taking over your body. That is a feeling like I had when I touched the crystal. So I feel like maybe this is like a heart and throat so sort of like a uh, channeling of something else around the environment. So it, it, it felt it's, it felt like it's a powerful crystal in that sort of a, that sort of feeling. Um, I bought a few of them at the crystal store in Fremantle. Mm -hmm. um, simply because I want to give it away as a gift and I will keep one or two for myself to use. People call these, um, well, on display, they said this came from Java, uh, Indonesia. So apparently people find them uh, in the ocean. And they said it is uh, absolutely rare because it's like one of those rare tactiles that found underneath. And you read at different places where they say it's actually a fake uh, tactile or it's an obsidian sort of like um, gemstone or whatsoever. But you know what, to me, when I look at it and I feel it, have you ever looked at the pictures of a moon? <laughs> like, you know, that weird strange cradle in the moon, that sparkling reflection. And then, you know, when you look at the moon at a certain angle, it's like a reflection of light that is how i felt this is so when you put these crystal into the light it's transformed into a different like a moonlight sort of like reflection color so that's how i feel so i think they should call them moon type or something like that instead of um, uh, acne um, malatai or um, fire of divine uh, pearl of divine fire or something they call pearl maybe because they find them underneath the oceans, but fire probably the cradle of the lava of the um, uh, the earth crust.
ash going underneath the lava and then transform into this crystal instead of most people who say this came from the impact of the meteorites uh, hitting the earth and then it evaporated and consolidated into this particular glass sort of formation I felt that this is more like the earth crush form itself or a combination of both it made my mouth tingling at the moment oh it's such a weird crystal oh and my head is heavy at the moment oh yeah i've been cleansing it like since i got it home and on my cell and my crystal here you see i've been cleansing it so all this i've been cleansing it It's such a, a strong, strong sort of like crystal. I can feel it even from the plate. So there you go. Um, oh, yeah. So if you actually have worked with um, acne malatai before, uh, and I'm happy if you could just share uh, your experience, how you're going to use this. Uh, I feel that like I might, I think maybe because I use them with the Moldavite, so it's a little bit stronger than before. It felt like the energy is rushing up, like the cool energy rushing up. It's a little bit too much for me. Um, it's, it's a very uncomfortable feeling, you know, when um, I did the first session with Path Life Regression with Wolfgang. And what it did was it opened up something in me and it's made my body going absolutely cold. I feel cold the whole day and I feel like there's something like got out my body. Like he probably unblocked something on me and then I feel like my body just whoosh, rushing energy going all the way up, 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 up. And I feel cold. Yeah. So there was um, a session that I did with him, a third section session, I think. And uh, there was a time when we said that we were sending an, a spirit away, you know, to follow the family and so on. And then I didn't have enough energy to do it. And I feel like I was uh, cold and de... I don't know. It's like my, my warmth, the warmth within my heart, my soul was just sh shrinking, shrinking. And this cold air coming in and make me feel like I want to zone out and not coming back. That sort of weird feeling. So, from that perspective, uh, as per perspective, I think this particular gemstone or crystal or glass had that same effect. That weird, um, oh, you know, even touching it, I feel a bit, my, my chest feeling a bit weird. Um, I don't know how to say it. I feel like if you want to use this crystal I think I should bath them in a grey of warm light first uh, or heat or maybe I should cleanse them in the sun because it's, it's, it had that weird like under the ocean deep dark cold feeling a feeling of loneliness um, and it felt like you're a bit drowning, yeah. And it felt like the energy is like whoosh, going up, and now it's sitting right here at the moment. I feel like it's gonna go up, yeah. My head is really heavy at the moment. Um, and fair enough, this crystal has been cleansed, so it's actually cleansing as we're speaking. But the, the energy was just so strong and I think now I understand why I, I drawn to it of all the crystal in the uh, crystal store in Fremantle market this is the only one that drawn me to it yeah so there you go that is how I feel and that's how my experience or how the um, acne, uh, acne magnetize is actually affect on me um, but yeah, it's a really unsettling feeling, unsettling and, and 
It's not as strong as a new mic, to be honest. Um, but it worked up here. Chest, throat, and third eye and crown chakra. It felt really... The coolness is going up. People think it actually works for the solar plexus. But I don't think it's for the solar plexus. It's more like for for higher, high vibrations. It's like a higher unblocking. I might just sleep with it tonight and see what it's like. And then I might tell you all about it next time. Oh, oh the feeling is not nice. Uh, it's making me so unsettled. So there you go. Uh, I'll see you next time. <laughs>